Charles Robert Darwin February 12, 1809 to April 19, 1882 was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, widely known for his contributions to evolutionary biology. His proposition that all species of life have descended from a common ancestor is now generally accepted and considered a fundamental concept in science. In a joint publication with Alfred Russell Wallace, he introduced his scientific theory that this branching pattern of evolution resulted from a process he called natural selection, in which the struggle for existence has a similar effect to the artificial selection involved in selective breeding. Darwin has been described as one of the most influential figures in human history and was honored by burial in Westminster Abbey. Darwin's early interest in nature led him to neglect his medical education at the University of Edinburgh, instead, he helped to investigate marine invertebrates. His studies at the University of Cambridge's Christ's College from 1828 to 1831 encouraged his passion for natural science. His five-year voyage on HMS Beagle from 1831 to 1836 established Darwin as an eminent geologist whose observations and theories supported Charles Lyell's concept of gradual geological change. Publication of his Journal of the Voyage made Darwin famous as a popular author. Puzzled by the geographical distribution of wildlife and fossils he collected on the voyage, Darwin began detailed investigations and, in 1838, devised his theory of natural selection. Although he discussed his ideas with several naturalists, he needed time for extensive research and his geological work had priority. He was writing up his theory in 1858 when Alfred Russell Wallace sent him an essay that described the same idea, prompting immediate joint submission of both their theories to the Linnean Society of London. Darwin's work established evolutionary descent with modification as the dominant scientific explanation of diversification in nature. In 1871, he examined human evolution and sexual selection in the descent of man and selection in relation to sex, followed by the expression of the emotions in man and animals 1872. His research on plants was published in a series of books, and in his final book, The Formation of Vegetable Mold, Through the Actions of Worms 1881, he examined earthworms and their effect on soil. Darwin published his theory of evolution with compelling evidence in his 1859 book on the origin of species. By the 1870s, the scientific community and a majority of the educated public had accepted evolution as a fact. However, many favored competing explanations that gave only a minor role to natural selection. And it was not until the emergence of the modern evolutionary synthesis from the 1930s to the 1950s that a broad consensus developed in which natural selection was the basic mechanism of evolution. Darwin's scientific discovery is the unifying theory of the life sciences, explaining the diversity of life. In 1882 he was diagnosed with what was called angina pectoris, which then meant coronary thrombosis and disease of the heart. At the time of his death, the physicians diagnosed anginal attacks and heart failure, there has since been scholarly speculation about his lifelong health issues. Darwin was brought up in the Church of England and at one point was being trained to be an Anglican priest. Like many of his generation, he took the Bible as the literal word of God and often quoted it as a source of moral authority. However, after his epic voyage to South America, he became doubtful of the Bible as a source of history, he also felt no reason why all religions couldn't be true. From 1849, he stopped going to church, though he never considered himself to be an atheist. He felt that agnostic suited his beliefs more closely. He wrote in his autobiography that he eventually gave up Christianity as he disagreed with the conclusion that all non-believers spend eternity in hell. He was politically liberal, being an opponent of slavery. He experienced the brutality of how people treated their slaves in a Spanish colony. He died at Down House on April 19, 1882. His last words were to his family, telling Emma, I am not the least afraid of death, remember what a good wife you have been to me, tell all my children to remember how good they have been to me. While she rested, he repeatedly told Henrietta and Francis, it's almost worthwhile to be sick to be nursed by you. He had expected to be buried in St. Mary's churchyard at Down. But at the request of Darwin's colleagues, after public and parliamentary petitioning, William Spottiswood president of the Royal Society arranged for Darwin to be honored by burial in Westminster Abbey. Close to John Herschel and Isaac Newton. The funeral, held on Wednesday, April 26, was attended by thousands of people, including family, friends, scientists, philosophers and dignitaries.